My name is Charlotte Ubidairo. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about Bow Concept. Uh, Bow Concept is a Danish furniture brand. Uh, we were established in 1952, so we are a little bit more than 70 years old. Um, and we have we are in 300 markets at the moment, uh, 65 countries, so it's quite big. Um, there, is, uh, there are six stores in Africa, uh, and I have the privilege of having the master franchise of all of them. Um, and we entered here just a little bit less than two years ago, a year and a bit. Um, just uh, opened uh, or started to open during COVID, which was a little bit difficult and complex, obviously. But it's always been my dream to come back to to Nairobi and Kenya with a Bow Concept store. Um, Bow Concept opened here um, eight years ago and, and unfortunately had to close because the climate was not really for um, it at that time. Um, and since they closed, I've always been wanting to come back and do and show what we can do um, with Bow Concept and the brand in Nairobi. And this is our chance and we are very excited about being specialized. So um, most of our products are designer products, so there's, there's a design process that has gone into it. Uh, and being um, a Danish design brand, a lot of it is about functionality, it's about aesthetics, it's about some, somewhat simplicity, but it's also about the customizable. Everybody's individual, everybody wants different things, everybody um, are looking to express their style. So our brand is very much that. So while you see the design that um, our interior designers have, or our architects have put a lot of effort into, you can also see yourself in it. So you may not like the grey that we have put on the shop floor. You prefer it in a brown that better suits your, um, your environment at home and you can get that one. You may have a big family, so you're seeing a sofa that is just a two-seater. But with our customization and the design of the furniture, you can make it into a five or five seater. Um, we sell all products, uh, living room, dining room, bedrooms, offices. We are seeing a surge in um, deliveries and designs that we do for, um, in, for developments. So um, whether it's corporate apartments or it's uh, Airbnbs or it's uh, offices, uh, hotel, um, service sector, a lot of that uh, where they are liking the upscale and the durability of the products. Um, so we are, we are definitely seeing uh, far more of that. And with the developments that are happening right now in Nairobi, I think time is right, we're seeing them shooting up everywhere. Um, our design, um, we offer interior design services. So even if you don't have your own interior designers, you can come here with your plans, uh, blueprint, and our interior designers uh, will help you. Each so we, we like to treat our customers and loyal customers as family, and they are getting um, an advantage um, by being with us. Of course, we have relationship with interior designers, developers and architects, and they have specific commission structures. Also, for the professionals, if you will, we are very happy to host events um, with IDAC, the Interior Designs Association of Kenya. We have hosted them several times here. They come and they have their meeting, um, and, and, and in a sense, using our space for their venues because um, if they need another venue or if they want to have a trade talk. Uh, we do quite a lot of trade talks as well, both here and in the other countries. Um, so, so I definitely think entry to market wise, Kenya is lovely. I mean, what can I say? So <laughs> it has been a lovely experience through and through. Not the many obstacles we have had in some of the other markets. Um, things are working here. And I think that's one of the main um, attractions about uh, Kenya is that Things are working, people are skilled, qualified, you have amazing, wonderful, talented people here. Young people particularly is a great source for us. I think trust is so key. I mean, that's whole concept. We are all about trust. So I'm not necessarily about selling you a whole lot of things that you don't need. I'm about selling you exactly what represents you. And and I think that has that is one of the key um, to success. So it's not about pushing sales. It's about the customer. We have a very customer-centric approach. So that's one side, one very important component to our success and growth as a company. The other is our people. If it wasn't for the amazing people that are staying with us for a decade, it, you would not be able to because to grow and expand because you need that. You need the stability and you need the experience. Um, and, and, and that's one of the things that I'm really grateful for all the people that have stayed with us for so long. Um, so I think that those are the two key elements um, in, in, or two 
success ingredients, successful ingredients, if you will, of our of our business, really. So it's focus on.